Well, today you witness us adding 142 fish representing five species to our largest freshwater exhibit, the Nijak Lake exhibit. And these are fish, they originated from a fish farm up in Pennsylvania, eastern Pennsylvania. And uh, they've been in quarantine for the last few months. And they passed all the quarantine requirements and it was time to put them on display. We're stocking up for the winter. There are many steps involved in this type of operation. It's not as simple as just netting them out of a box, a transport box, transferring them to another container and then into the tank. There's, there's a lot of steps that have to go on in between all of that. We've got to get completely organized, to be, uh, taking them from their home that they've been used to for the last few months, introducing them to an alien environment. We try to give them as much TLC as possible in route to being introduced to, a, to this exhibit. To catch a fish, you have to think like a fish. So if you can think like a fish, which is not easy to do, if you can think like a fish, then it works to your advantage because you know what, what they're going, basically what they're going to do next. So if you approach them with the net, you approach them nice and slow, and you anticipate their moves. And if you anticipate well enough in advance, chances are you're successful in netting the fish. But we've learned through our past mistakes that it's not good to release small fish at the surface because of the big predators we have in this exhibit. Um, so through that experience, that past experience, we learned that we need to, anything that's four inches, well, let's say four to six inches, has to be taken down with divers, releasing them in an underwater cave. Uh, we take them all the way to the bottom, let them release them down there, and eventually the fish will work their way up into the water column. They won't act as, as uh, stress bait for the big predators. We organized the team. Everybody were, were assigned duties and specific duties. And it all went smooth and well. I mean, it was pretty amazing that it only took us about an hour to move 142 fish. So that, that was, I was quite pleased with that.